Now this year and, and other years like this where we have later planting, later burn down, um, and a higher intersection between these weeds and corn, that sets the stage for black cutworm damage because you have dead and dying weeds there at the same time when corn is popping out of the ground. Black cutworm do doesn't prefer corn, in fact they do better on many of these weeds in terms of uh, development and increasing in size and so forth. But they'll certainly take corn over nothing and that's the only other option when these weeds start dying. So that sets the stage for damage to occur and that means that we have to be out in the field scouting. Now there are uh, transgenic or traded hybrids, uh, BT hybrids that are labeled for black cutworm. Uh, seed applied insecticides also offer some suppression of black cutworm. But what we've seen is that when these caterpillars are large, which are the ones that we worry about, they're not, the control is not satisfactory with those products. So, in other words, we need to use other approaches, and those other approaches are generally foliar insecticides. So before you apply those insecticides, you need to know what's out there. The way to do that is to enter the field and scout the plants and look for feeding. Now early on, the feeding will not appear as cut plants. Uh, and this is what you want to see. If you want to see damage, you don't want to see cut plants. You want to see notches in the leaves. You want to see that lighter feeding. Because now you can still more easily control these larvae before they get large and start cutting plants. Corn plant will easily outgrow a notch in the leaf. Of course, if the entire plant is cut, that's not going to happen. Now, scouting a field involves going to several areas of the field, uh, scouting a minimum of 50 plants, more is always better, and if 3 to 5 percent of those plants show symptoms of cutworm injury, you are over the economic threshold and a treatment is advised. There are many options, uh, most of them are pyrethroid insecticides for black cutworm control. Now again, that it, it's better to apply that control early, too early than too late. Larger insects, larger cutworm larvae are harder to kill than the smaller ones.